hello in this video lecture we need to learn the concept of loops in flow graph the question on the basis of this topic might be asked is as like list and explain loops in a flow graph so everyone knows that the concept of basic block and flow graph so to show the flow of particular basic block the graphical representation we use is called as flow graph means the flow graph will show us which block follow which another block okay so here whatever the flow graph that is whatever the control flow graph we are going to build so in that control flow graph we are need to identify the loops loops in a particular flow graph that is what particular control flow graph so whenever we are going to identify the loops in a particular flow graph definitely it is uh, what we call as control flow analysis means this loops in a flow graph that means if you are going to identify the loops which is present into the flow graph so we are going to optimize that loop so everyone knows that the whatever the time we are going to waste inside a particular loop to execute that particular loop time much more time going to waste so to perform the code motion to perform the reduction in strength we need to identify the loops in a particular flow graph okay now let's go to the uh, point loop can be treated as a control flow analysis yes हमने अभी देख मैंने अभी बताया कि whenever we are going to do जब भी हमें control flow analysis करना हो so control flow is nothing but the flow of program the flow of particular basic block उसी को हम बोल सकते हैं control flow so whenever we are going to do the analysis of the flow of program we need to identify the loops so loop is basically used to uh, to check the control flow analysis so loops are important because program spend more time of their execution so to improve the performance of loop is necessary loops in a flow graph consisting uh, there are various properties whenever we are going to identify the loops in a particular flow graph it has number of properties so what are those properties the question might be as explain a uh, list and explain the loops in flow graph so inner loop outer loop these are what the different list in a list of loops we call it is uh, we call it is now whenever we are going to identify the loop in a particular control flow graph we need to know the following properties the first one dominators def first ordering back edge graph depth and reducibility terms these are the various properties which is uh, in a loop in a flow graph now this diagram tell us what the code optimization is one of the phase which is placed in between the front end and the back end of the uh, front end and uh, the code generator so code optimization uh, will be performed by control flow analysis first of all we have to perform data flow analysis we have to perform and then we are going to apply some transformation so semantic preserving transformation we need to know struct that is what we call as function preserving transformation or various techniques are there uh, that is compile time evaluation uh, unreachable code elimination dead code elimination reduction in strength uh, uh, global common sub expression elimination dead code elimination so such type of uh, transformation we perform on the particular code if you know the control flow analysis and data flow analysis so here we need to know the basic two term that is control flow analysis to do the control flow analysis we require loops in a flow graph and data flow analysis another term now let's go to the uh, loop so control flow graph that is cfg is a graph which may contain loops and uh, which is completely known as strongly connected components so ssc so generally a loop is a directed graph whose node can reach all other node along the same path so generally what we call as there is an a direction of particular loop okay so node can be attached with another node okay in a some path so this includes unstructured loop with multiple entries and multiple exits 
so there are number of types of loops we call this is a unstructured loop structured loop then uh, when we go for unstructured loop uh, in a particular unstructured loop there are multiple entries point and multiple exit points so uh, to create unstructured loop there are a number of uh, continuous statement go to statement unconditional jump continuous statement break statement these are various uh, statement basically used to go for uh, development of unstructured loop having multiple entries so due to these keywords multiple entries multiple exit might be possible and uh, a structured loop which is called as a normal loop has only one entry point and only one exit point that is what we call as structured loop which follows the normal flow of uh, flow loop created by mapping high level source program to intermediate representation or assembly code as a, a normal that is what we call as structured loops so go to can creates any loop break creates an additional exits so this uh, keywords go to that is unconditional jump continuous statement break statement they are possibility to create the uh, multiple entries multiple exit in a particular uh, loops when we go for loops in a flow graph so loops in a flow graph is nothing but control flow analysis okay hum dekh sakte hai control flow uh, loops in a flow graph kya hai it's a uh, treated as a control flow analysis and uh, why there is necessary to do uh, identify the loops in a flow graph because of हम जब भी कोई भी लूप एग्जीक्यूट करते हैं तो कंपाइलर प्रोग्राम का टाइम वहाँ पे मैक्सिमम स्पेंड होता है तो उसके लिए हमको क्या करना है लूप को एग्जीक्यूट इजीली करना है सो so, लूप के लिए लूप को समझने के लिए वी नीड टू नो द टर्मिनोलॉजी दैट डोमिनेटर्स देन इनर लूप आउटर लूप देन डेप फर्स्ट रीज सो दिस टर्मिनोलॉजी वी नीड टू नो ओके देन प्री हर्डर कॉन्सेप्ट ओके नाउ गो टू द नेक्स्ट वन दैट इज वॉट डिटर्मिनिंग द लूप्स इन अ फ्लोग्राफ the first terminology that is dominator so how we are going to determine the loops in a particular flow graph so we are going to identify the dominators which node is dominator uh, of which node so dominators d dom n so d is one of the node in a basic block n is another node in a basic block so what we say that d dom n when we say that d dom n when node d of context uh, that is control flow graph dominates node n so d dominates node n hum kab keh sakte hai jab if every path from initial node of control flow graph to n goes through d so there is a path from there is a path from initial node to n every path uh, from initial node to n always goes to through d कोई भी पात्र रहेगा जो इनिशियल नोड से हमको जाना है नोड एन तक सो अलवेज देर इज अ पाथ विच गोज थ्रू डी तब हम बोल सकते हैं डी डोमिनेटर एन सो डी डोमिनेटर्स एन कब बोल सकते हैं एवरी पाथ ऑफ इनिशियल नोड फॉलोज गोज टू द एन थ्रू द डी सो लूप एंट्री डोमिनेट्स ऑल द नोड इन द लूप सो वॉट एवर वी कॉल एज loop entry node whatever the first node who dominates all the nodes okay who dominates all the node so immediate dominators what we call as immediate dominator m of the node n immediate dominator m of node n so m dominates n is the last dominator on the path from initial node to n so that is what we call as uh, we call as immediate dominators m if d is not equal to n so d dom n then what we call as d dom m okay so if m dominates n if m dominates n then d dominates n then definitely d doms m because of we need to uh, initial node is always uh, travel to through the d because of m is the last node of n okay so that is what we call as immediate dominator so with the help of example we can understand over here suppose this is a control flow graph given over here okay suppose uh, these are the 1 2 3 up to 10 these are the various basic blocks over here so here is a number of loops in a particular basic block so what we call as loop 1 uh, 2 3 this is not actual loop so 3 to 4 again this uh, is called as inner loop 3 to 4 then control goes to next then again what we call as uh, 4 to 4 6 7 or 4 5 7 like this loop is moving there okay so i need to draw the dominator tree over here 
so what we call as the initial node who dominates the all the node because of sub node ko jaane ke liye hum initial one se hi jana padega so one dominates all the node but what about the three three dominates rest of the node that is 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so three dominates rest of the nodes so three does not dominates the one and two because of hame initial node se agar four ko jana ho to hum kya kar sakte hai three se hi jana padega to hum kya bol sakte hai three dominates four agar five ko jana hai to bhi hum three se jayenge to three dominates five so likewise we call it uh, okay <coughs> now again what about the four so agar four सिक्स को जाना है तो हम क्या करेंगे फोर से ही जाएंगे सो फोर डोमिनेट्स वॉट फाइव सिक्स अगर सेवन को जाना है तो भी हम किस से जाएंगे फोर से ही जाएंगे सो सिक्स डज नॉट डोमिनेट सेवन बिकॉज ऑफ सेवन को जाने के लिए देर इज अनदर रूट दैट इज अ फाइव ओके सो फोर डोमिनेट सेवन ओके फाइव सिक्स डज नॉट डोमिनेट सेवन बट फोर डोमिनेट सेवन क्योंकि हमको सेवन को जाना है तो हम फोर से ही जाएंगे सो so, अगर एट सेवन एट सो सेवन डोमिनेट्स एट ओके एंड एट डोमिनेट्स नाइन एंड टेन नाइन को जाना है तो एट से ही जाएंगे टेन को जाना है तो एट से ही जाएंगे सो उसी प्रकार हम क्या करेंगे ट्री ड्रॉ करेंगे सो दिस इज वॉट वी कॉल एज डोमिनेटर ट्री सो इससे हमको पता चलता है कि लूप्स कहाँ कहाँ पे है ओके विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस सो दिस इज वॉट वी कॉल एज डोमिनेटर्स डोमिनेटर ट्री सो नेचुरल लूप क्या रहता है सो वट इज एग्जैक्टली मीन ऑफ नेचुरल लूप बैकेज is an h a to b whose head is b dominates its tail a okay so a backage kya rehta hai koi bhi age wo hum bole to 3 to 4 hai to backage kya rahega 4 to 3 so uh, that is 4 3 dominates 4 okay so that is what we call as backage so in a given backage n gives a d the natural loop consists of d plus the node that can reach n without going through D. The loop header is node D. Unless two loops have the same header, they are disjoint or one is nested within the other. So nested loop is a inner loop if it contains no other loops. Okay. So a natural loop, we can say three to four. Again, four to three. So if such control is there, then we can say it is a natural loop. And we can say that it is a natural loop which is four to 4 to 7 so this is what we call as a natural loop okay now uh, with the help of a diagram also we can understand the uh, a natural loop 3 to 4 then a natural loop for 4 dom 7 7 dom 10 so this is what we call as natural inner loops okay so inner loops kon kon se inner loops hai natural inner loops hai yahan pe so yahan pe dekho 3 dom 4 uh, so agar 4 ko jana hai to 3 se hi jana padega so again 4 to 3 control is a control, uh, continuously moving 3 4 3 4 3 4 like this so this is what we call as natural inner loop over here again uh, natural loop 4 dom 7 so agar 7 ko jana hai to hum kis se jayenge 4 se hi jana padega koi other choices nahi hai so dekho loop kya hai 4 7 6 uh, sorry 4 6 7 again 4 4 6 7 again 4 okay so or uh, 4 5 7 again 4 सो लाइक वेज वॉट बिकॉल इज नेचुरल इनर लूप हम बोल सकते हैं और कौन सा इनर लूप है यहाँ पे देखो सेवन एट टेन सो टेन को जाना है तो सेवन से ही जाना पड़ेगा नो अदर चॉइसेस विल बी देर सेवन डॉम एट एट डॉम टेन ओके बट हियर नेचुरल लूप्स आर वॉट बी कॉल्ड एज सेवन एट टेन अगेन टेन इज मूविंग टू सेवन सो दिस इज वॉट बी कॉल्ड एज नेचुरल लूप सो दिस दिस नेचुरल लूप वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड नेचुरल आउटर लूप सो हियर वी सीन द इनर लूप एंड आउटर लूप ओके सो आउटर लूप को बोले तो हम वन टू नाइन फॉर वन डॉम नाइन सो वन नाइन अगेन कंट्रोल गोज टू वन अगेन इट फॉलोज द रूट ओके सो क्या क्या रूट हो सकता है वन टू थ्री फोर सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन अगेन दिस फॉलोज दिस फॉलोज कंटिन्यूसली एंड देन वेन एवर इट इज ब्रेक इट गोज टू टेन सो दिस इज वॉट वी कॉल इज आई आउटर लूप हम उसको बोल सकते और थ्री डॉम्स एट उसको ही हम क्या बोल सकते आउटर लूप बोल सकते क्योंकि एट से कंट्रोल किधर जा रहा है अगेन कंट्रोल गोज टू थ्री सो दिस इज वॉट वी कॉल एज नेचुरल आउटर लूप सो शेयर डोमिनेटर ट्री इज बेसिकली डोमिनेटर कंसेप्ट बेसिकली यूज टू आइडेंटिफाई द इनर लूप एंड आउटर लूप इन टू द पर्टिकुलर बेसिक ब्लॉक्स 
again what the concept is there pre headers concept so whenever we are going to partition the particular basic block we are going to identify the headers of that particular basic block so yahan pe hum dekh sakte hain jo bhi header hai uske pehle hum ek header kya karenge add karenge usko hum bol sakte hain pre header so hum pre header kyun add karenge this is basically used for code motion and strength reduction okay into the loop transformation so that's why we are going to add the pre header अगर कोई भी कोड रहेगा जो भी लूप के अंदर रहेगा देखो अभी पहले डायग्राम में देखा दिखाया गया है कि हेडर कंट्रोल हेडर के पास ही लूप जा रहा है अगर उस हेडर में ऐसा कोई स्टेटमेंट रहेगा कि जो आगे जाके यूज नहीं होगा और इट इज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स स्टेटमेंट रहेगा जिसकी वैल्यू चेंज नहीं हो रही है तो हम उसको क्या करेंगे निकाल के प्री हेडर में रख देंगे और उसका इनपुट हम क्या करेंगे उसका आउटपुट हम क्या करेंगे हेडर में ले लेंगे ओके सो जिससे क्या होगा कि लूप ऑप्टिमाइजेशन हो जाएगा सो दिस प्री हेडर कंसेप्ट इज बेसिकली यूज फॉर द कोड मोशन एंड स्ट्रेंथ रिडक्शन ओके सो टू फैसिलिटेट द लूप ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन अ कंपाइलर ऑफन एड्स द प्री हेडर टू द लूप सो कोड मोशन स्ट्रेंथ रिडक्शन एंड अदर लूप ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन दैट इज स्ट्रेंथ रिडक्शन डेड कोड एलिमेंटेशन ओके सच टाइप ऑफ लूप ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन वी रिक्वायर दिस प्री हेडर इन द पर्टिकुलर लूप्स depth first ordering this is term is also used for the uh, understanding the concept of loops in a flow graph so in the flow graph analysis one more variant uh, ordering is depth first or ordering is exact the reverse of postfix ordering to traverse the node to traverse the particular node so here in diagram it gives us pre order post order and depth first ordering exactly opposite of particular post order sequence okay postfix ordering traversing of the node okay and on the basis of this we are going to draw the diagram so 1 2 3 then 4 5 6 7 8 9 and there should be shows us a particular loops also into the particular dfs okay edges in the tree advancing edge retreating edge and again what do we call as a cross edge so advancing edge means what there is an edge from uh, if the consider edge from 4 to 8 we call this an advancing edge so here the edge from 4 to 8 so advance 4 to 6 4 to 7 so is an advancing edge edge that goes from a node m to the proper descendant of m in the tree retreating edge means edge can goes from the node to ancestor of m so 4 to 3 7 to 4 back back edges is called as we call as retreating edge and then cross edges there is edge from 2 to 3 and 5 to 7 so this is what we call as loops in a flow graph okay so in an exam the question might be asked is as like explain uh, list and explain the loops in flow graph so we need to know uh, different properties of loops in a flow graph that is a uh, dominator natural loops we need to know and then pre header concepts then depth first ordering concepts these are what the concepts of loops in a flow graph okay so <clears throat> Thank you thank you for watching this